A charged particle is in a vacuum between two horizontal metal plates as shown. Still in electric fields. But we don't know what, what charge the particle is, right? Anyway. The acceleration of the particle is 7.1 times 10 to the 11 downwards. The particle has a mass that's given to us. What's the charge of the particle? Now, why would there be an acceleration of the particle? You could say there's electric force, but also, also they didn't say, they said it's a particle and they gave you a mass. So there probably is some weight of this particle. But the question is, where does electric force act on? Is the electric force pointing up or is it down? We actually don't know. So we kind of have to guess our way through this. One possibility is I could assume that maybe the particle hmm, it's a positive, kind of this negative. Maybe if it's a negative particle, I'm just gonna say maybe, then you will experience the electric force up, which should be smaller than the weight. Uh, I'm gonna say mg. But this kind of seems sketchy because usually the electric force is quite big for particles. So why, how would the Fe be smaller than Mg? Anyway, never mind. Let's continue this. We'll see if this is correct or not. So let me say that downwards is ne a positive, upwards is negative. Because I'm going to do some Newton's second law. So we have acceleration, we have forces. That's got to be Newton's second law where the net force equals to the mass times acceleration. So net force here, I said mg is positive, minus Fe equals to ma. And I want to find the charge on the particle, right? So I got to say, what is Fe? So Fe equals to mg minus ma, or I guess you could say mg minus a. Let's calculate. So 3.34 times 10 negative 27, 9.81 minus a very Big acceleration, 7.15 times 10 to the 11, oh my my. We are going to have a negative number. What does that mean? So you will get negative 2.39 times 10, negative 15. Wow, something is funny here. Why do we get a negative value? That means my direction of electric force is wrong. It's in the opposite direction. Because I already said upwards is negative. But if I still get a negative, so negative of the negative is downwards. Wow, okay. So that means I kind of have to redo my question. But it's okay. I can still proceed as long as I know that the, down the force is downwards. But let's redraw it. Okay, so we know that it's going to point downwards. For our... To reduce confusion, let's redraw it. W, and you have Fe. Ah, so these two will cause a net force. Let's say downwards is positive, positive. W plus Fe. Oh, W is weight, by the way. Mm, it goes to Ma. So this one, if you do it, I won't write out everything, but you will get Fe equals to Positive 2.39 times 10 to negative 15. So positive is downwards. Okay, I'm convinced. So you have a downwards electric force. Then from there, you can find what is the charge of the particle. F equals to QE, but we don't have electric fuse. So maybe QV over D because we have those values, right? So now... Um, we can say F equals to QV over D. So 2.39 times 10 to the negative 15 equals to Q. What is V? V is the potential difference between the particles. So you go up here, particles, between the plates. This is our delta V from 3000 to 0. 300 to 0, so 300 volts. Divide by the distance, separation distance, that's here. 2.0 cm. Convert everything to cm. Okay, so 2 times 10, negative 2 meters. Here, you would get a value of Q of 1.592 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, also known as 1.6. <gasps> 
But you look at the answer. Okay, this two is wrong already. This one is incorrect. But is it positive or is it negative? Confusion. Stay calm. Look, we have decided that the correct direction of electric force is downwards. So our dear particle, eh man, let me rub off this stuff here first, is experiencing an electric force downwards. What is attracted to the negative? A positive particle. So this is a positive particle attracted downwards and moving away from the light charge. So it's a positive particle. So therefore, you know the magnitude is 1.6. You just need to say it's positive. So this is wrong direction. So you see how you have to kind of guess your way. What is the electric force of the particle? And then figure out what charge it is. Okay. So this one is a... I would consider this a level 2. Maybe level 2... Yeah, level 2 MCQ question. Because it's kind of a little bit tricky. And you can't just simply plug in your values in the calculator. You can't need to know what you're doing. Alright, next video, next question.